I feel like in a matter of uh, the last day, we can tell that we're further south because it is hotter and moister. <laughs> um, we are going into what I think might be our 10th night of sailing to the South Pacific. But um, I think we have our first squall approaching us. So we've battened down the hatches, we've tightened things in and covered things up and we'll see what comes. But already, like, I can just feel my skin. It's I moist. Smell it. You smell it too? Yeah. It was a pretty active night for us uh, with a lot of stuff showing up on the radar, but honestly nothing developed and so it uh, was pretty easy to handle and in fact we kept the spinnaker up all night. Um, so nothing got over 13, I don't think. So it's been a pretty nice night and we are getting really close to the doldrums so we're all kind of anxious to see what happens there. Um, Either way, we'll handle it. We just don't want to have to motor for five days to get through it. So that's the hope, but we've done a lot of planning and the weather outlook is positive. So it should be a couple days of pretty calm and motoring. So we knew that this was gonna happen. It's to be expected. And there's not a lot you can do about it other than just try and pick the thinnest window. So that's what we've done. daily sailing lesson, at least when it has to do with our passage across the Pacific, because we are going from the Northern Hemisphere to the Southern Hemisphere, meaning of course that we're crossing the equator. When one does that, they're going to cross what's known as the doldrums or the ITCZ, Intertropical Convergence Zone. This is a place of quite variable weather, definitely lighter winds for sure, and very often none whatsoever. So. We've done a lot of research and gathered a lot of information on the best way to cross this. There is tons out there on uh, this scenario. And so the thing that's best for us is to, well, not just us, but anyone crossing from Mexico to um, the French Polynesia, or the South Pacific, is to cross a spot called 10120 is what they call it. So it's latitude 10 and longitude 120. And when you get to that point, that's kind of the best place where the doldrums are at the narrowest this time of year, typically. <laughs> this is a place that have had countless stories told about it. Um, you know, sailors getting stuck for weeks and even months back in the day when they didn't have motors. Um, so it can vary anywhere from 200 miles thick to a thousand miles thick, depending on the location and time of year and a whole bunch of other things. So we have aimed for this area um, which is known as one of the thinnest spots and we shall see when we get there but we're about a day out from that spot and then we will just take it day by day and see how it goes but that's what we have forecast for our future and you guys will be in the viewers Unbelievable treatment of the captain. I'm so sorry, but I'm not sorry because that was pure entertainment. And the crowd goes wild! <laughs> Absolutely one of the best things of being out here, in my opinion, are the sunsets. Sunrises. The vistas. The best. The best.
good morning. So I have to laugh a little bit and I find this pretty funny because um, we read a lot of sailing stories and sea stories of crossing the Pacific Ocean and they always talk about, you know, how they, they know when they're getting close to land because birds show up. Bullshit. It's a bunch of bullshit because we've been out here for days and we've been seeing birds all the time and even more so they come and visit and leave us their presents. Right about now I could see I could deal with less birds. <laughs> so I don't know what these people are talking about. Maybe we need to write our own little story and let the truth be known that birds are all the way out here. We're 1600 miles from nothing. <laughs> <laughs> They're here, and there's no land in sight. <laughs> oh, huh? Nice work. <laughs> yeah, it's... So while Warren is scrubbing the deck of all the bird shit, um, I'd like to mention that we have hit our 10-120 mark. So that we hit in the middle of the night. What that means now is we are actually going to start turning the boat dead south and that's going to put us basically right over the doldrums and down towards the equator and hopefully this is the narrowest bit of that ITCZ zone that we talked about as far as no wind. Um, but so far as we pulled up the weather for the last three days, um, our outlook is looking pretty okay. I'm not going to say anything more because I don't want to jinx us, but um, we are seeing the wind shifting just a little bit as well. So in just a little bit when he's done cleaning the deck, I think we might do a sail change and turn south and head for the equator. Woohoo! about 5 15 um, I'm up on watch it has just been a super fantastic sale we have all just been loving the days and especially the last 24 hours we have really solid winds perfect direction we've made our push south we've made our turn south so that we're making our push for the doldrums and thus far we've been um, super lucky with the winds that we have had it has been uh, we've actually just been really scooting along um, so crossing our fingers and seeing how long that sticks around because it's not guaranteed to stick around for much longer That's for sure. We've all kind of expected it. So we're all anxious to see what happens over the next few days But I'm pulling weather again to see what's changed in the last 12 hours because we're pulling weather about every 12 hours <laughs> So yeah, I guess we'll just see but man, we've had a really fantastic time beautiful sunrises beautiful sunsets Really just moving along especially the last 24 hours so that's all to report for now.
Good morning. We uh, got the crew up because I had to put up the mainsail. Our um, wind outlook has been pretty grim, is and has been pretty grim, but you wouldn't know it by the winds that we have right now because the wind outlook for today has been, uh, this is, we're at the edge of the doldrums and you wouldn't know it by the wind that we're receiving right now. So we're super lucky. The seas are all messed up. We got swell coming from everywhere. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure everybody's comfortable. Yeah. All right, good. So we'll see how we long this a, holds on today. And we had a few sail changes last night. Several, yeah, it was an eventful night. That's for sure. A lot of sail changes, not a whole lot of sleep, but pretty Mostly good. Mostly just because we're looking out for squalls. A lot of squalls, definitely a lot of squalls. They were all over the place. None of them developed too hard on us, but the boat got a little wet. Oh no, ask Tanner. Do you want to hear what really happened? I do. While I was supposed to be watching the boat, I was watching the stars. <laughs> <laughs> and out of nowhere, a shooting star. I thought, wow, great, I'll keep looking for more shooting stars. And then I see a flash of lightning in the distance. <laughs> oh no! Now this raised my attention. So I scrolled over to the radar and noticed massive blue clouds <laughs> all over the place. Surrounding us. <laughs> Surrounding us. We managed. We'll see what happens today. Well, I think it's time. We've done quite, quite well, but we have no wind. No wind? No. No! We've lost her. No! What if we just go like this? <laughs> Does it work? No. No. Yeah. So it's time. But we've done really well. We've made it further than I thought we would. That's right. Latitude five. Whoops, wrong one. I started the wrong letter. Are we in the fives, yeah? Yeah, we're in the fives. Pretty good. So, uh, yeah, we're good. Okay, got to get her down. Do we want to? Nothing. Here we go, you guys ready? Yep. Whoa, that was fast. Well, that went well and we have had many days of great sailing so it just is what it is and actually right now the weather is to be expected no doubt oh yeah, yeah yeah we expected to do this and uh, in fact we've made it further than we thought yeah. we would and right now everything is looking i don't want to say it but it's looking up things are looking up things are looking up so we'll see how long it takes to get through it but right now we're motoring one motor on and uh about four knots so um, fight! Fight! Useless. Maybe I change the lure? Maybe I give up. Here we go, the pink one. What do you think? It's your thought process. Right now I'm thinking colors, colors, colors. 
Thinking like a fish. Thinking like a fish. The book I read says when it's dark and cloudy, use dark lures. So. Marlin. <laughs> Two quarters of a mile. Due east. He's hungry. It's gone. No, I can't see. Cut! Okay. You've got a good feeling about this one. Goodbye for now, Deirdre. There she goes. Fisherman's log. It's 2.30. I forget the date. Deirdre's been out in the water for about two minutes now. Nothing yet. Getting a little antsy. <laughs> Cut! If I'm not back in five minutes, just wait longer. <laughs> There's no fish in these waters! <laughs> <laughs> Only jellies and patty! <laughs> Sometimes you gotta clean up for the fish, you know? Cut. <laughs> Action. Fish oil. So they mistake me as one of their own. Cut. I've set some live bait. We'll see how she fares. such an odd route you know and the measurements have gotten kind of messed up because we're measuring either our actual course that we're taking which is far longer than the direct route I think that what we need to do is an establish and what I've done is a halfway route halfway in between the islands and the Marqueses okay and whenever we reach that intersection is our halfway point because our route was weird coming down here it's gonna be w weird getting to the Marqueses so it's hard to measure what our actual course has been or will be. So if you guys are all right with it, we can do halfway day, which is halfway, the, the mileage halfway in between, is, which makes today the halfway day. Oh, yeah. 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 I knew you guys were going to accept it because it was today and I was going to be so happy. So, <laughs> so, so oh my God, we're going to make brownies. We concur. And, yes. and that'll be a fun movie night. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the surprise? A surprise? surprise. Okay. Oh, surprise. Patty made a movie. Oreos. I'm gonna put them in the bin. On top of brownies. I don't know why, but why not? Yes. That was good. We got no one out here to tell us what to do. Oh my god. <laughs> it was Tanner's idea originally. We just need the gummy sharks to chop it off. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. Mm. Time to be in my dreams. Combine the halfway day dreams. Combine them. <laughs> well, it's a bummer to drop the sails. We never like to do Ooh. that, but man, look at all this beauty around so us. It's so gorgeous right now. Right now, what? the glow is just insane. It is. What an incredible sunset all the way around us. There's some pluses about this indulgence. Yeah, <laughs> we knew that too. I think these guys are okay with it too. Should be a nice night's sleep. Look at it! <laughs> Magic. Five-ish. It's like our, we'll be close called. 
basically, yes. calling out. So it's yeah, called yeah. holding ass. Okay, <laughs> charging. Here we go. Starting now. Present. So that's tonight. Tonight. This is tomorrow. Dead as can be through the night. Noon. Afternoon. So tomorrow yeah. afternoon it starts to build Jesus. and then it's just yeah. solid, solid, solid. Sick. And then we're like barely ahead of barely, it. Barely, barely. That's oh, crazy. Come on, come on. So we just gotta make it south. Yeah. So what is, so it's still like a 170, yeah? Well, we're going to go straight down, actually. I'm not going to do what this said in edit, because I think we'd lose some time doing this. Well, I just wanted to give everyone an update. We are just kind of bouncing between squalls as we're getting closer and closer to the equator. We're currently at latitude 5. So far, we have a weather upload that shows that we are hopefully passing the narrowest part of this, this doldrum at this moment. Um, obviously things change on the daily, but as of right now, we wouldn't have much to go um, for motoring until we get our wind back, and so that's a plus. And we've done really great so far, you know, it's been awesome. The days just fly by, um, which is crazy because all we have is time right now. <laughs> and everyone's getting along great. We're eating well. We are slowly kind of getting rid of all of our vegetables and probably are going to eat beans and rice and pasta for the remaining week. But, you know, everyone seems pretty happy and um, we're just moving right along. But, um, yeah. I'm nearly finished with my, my watch tonight, and then uh, Patty will take over, and then followed by Tanner, and then Warren takes the sunrise. So we've got a nice little routine going here. But, yeah. Just like that, you can we got no wind. Sheet, Patty. So uh, we're just gonna wait until it comes back. It always does. Oh, yeah, you're good. Yep. Got it. Got it. them both on stick. So with our with our wind low right now, Warren has uh, seen a chafe in our first reef line. So we're going to do something because that's, we need to prevent that chafage from happening more. What are we doing? We're running this line a little bit, right? The mass. No, I thought you were bringing it down there. I am. But this is something I can't do. It's a great shot. <laughs> War right between two legs. 
<laughs> How's that? <laughs> We're all wonky right now. I know. Well, this line had done some funky things right at the mast where it runs through and then it eventually goes back to boom. And uh, it was definitely chafing in a spot, which we will interject now, right there. This is where it is and chafing. And right at the gooseneck? Right at the gooseneck. And now it's hitting the boom. It was hidden right here before and now it's hitting the gooseneck. And then we re rerun it. So hopefully it doesn't chafe there anymore. So what we're going to do is we're going to relocate this up to pull the sail forward. You know what? It won't pull it down though very much. Well, you know what? All we can do is try. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll try. Yep. So this can come on down. All right, it has worked. We've been given this nice moment of calm and we've reconfigured how this is. And as you see, Patty's pulling it back and it is not binding anymore. We had two shape points, one right here and one right here on the actual gooseneck, which still occurs a little bit, but man, it's so, so, so much better. So our first reef is set. Great. Yeah. Set. Can we get back to sailing now? I think we should. The wind is back. Okay. And uh, second and third later. Or? I have a feeling. We're going to be in it today, you guys. Look at all those. Squall! Squall! Seven there. 
but still a lot of rain. Not a lot of wind right now. Well, we are just exhausted from all the work we had to do during that squall. <laughs> That's not quite true. But we are going to reward ourselves with a very nice... Post squall popcorn and hot cocoa. Popcorn and hot cocoa. And a movie. And a movie. So we're just going to relax. It has calmed way down. It wasn't like that for a while. So yeah, we have five knots of wind and we're actually motoring for the rare time. They say that the fish South don't bite out here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> South Pacific sunsets are beautifuler. They're more beautiful. They're the beautifulest. <laughs> <laughs> Patty. Great. <laughs> I love that smile on your face. What's that? I love that smile on your face. <laughs> yeah, we're in 22 knots of wind, so a little bit of a squally, stormy night just before this. It was just down to zero, just super there. calm. It, huh? It's always on your watch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the apparent wind was just all over the place. I let out the jib just to catch anything. And and then all of a sudden just, you know, saw it on the radar, but really cold blast of air. And yep. then we just went from 13 to like 22 like that. Yep. So, yeah. Hang in there. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, you're doing good. Building castles out of sand, reaching for the 